the ABC Learning Lane, where learning is fun. Hello, friends. Welcome to our space adventure. Today, we're going on an amazing journey to explore the solar system. Are you ready to blast off? Let's go! The solar system is like a giant cosmic family. There are eight planets, five dwarf planets, dozens of moons, and thousands of asteroids and comets. Some planets are small and rocky, others are huge and gassy, and every one is unique. Let's zoom in and meet them all, one by one. But before we visit the planets, let's meet the biggest and brightest member of our solar system, the Sun. The Sun is a giant ball of hot glowing gas called a star. It's over 100 times wider than Earth and gives us light and heat so we can live and grow. The Sun's gravity holds the whole solar system together, keeping all the planets, moons, and asteroids in orbit. Without the Sun, there would be no life on Earth and no solar system at all. Oh, and guess what? The Sun is so big, you could fit over a million Earths inside it. The first planet on our journey is Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet and the closest to the Sun. It's only a little bigger than our Moon. Even though it's so close to the Sun, it doesn't have an atmosphere to hold heat, so it can be burning hot during the day and freezing cold at night. Mercury has lots of craters, just like our Moon, and it zooms around the Sun really fast. One year on Mercury is only 88 Earth days. It's also a quiet planet with no moons. Venus is the second planet from the Sun and is sometimes called Earth's twin because they're almost the same size. But don't be fooled, Venus is not a place you'd want to visit. Its thick atmosphere traps heat, making it the hottest planet in the solar system, even hotter than Mercury. Venus also spins very slowly and it spins backward compared to most planets. One day on Venus is longer than its year, taking 243 Earth days to complete one rotation. Isn't that wild? Welcome to Earth, the third planet from the Sun and our beautiful home. Earth is the only planet we know that has the perfect mix of air, water, and temperature to support life. Earth is mostly covered in water, about 70%. It has one moon, called the moon, and it takes 365 days to go around the sun. Earth is the only place where we found animals, plants, people, and even pizza. Let's take a look at Earth's moon, our closest neighbor in space. The moon is a big round rock that orbits Earth. It's about one quarter the size of Earth, and it takes about 27 days to go all the way around us. The moon doesn't make its own light, it shines by reflecting sunlight. That's why it looks so bright at night. Long ago, astronauts landed on the moon, and one day, we might go back. The moon helps control Earth's tides and has no air, no weather, and no life, just craters, dust, and space magic. Next, we have Mars. Mars is known as the red planet because of its rusty color. It's the fourth planet from the sun and is half the size of Earth. Mars has giant volcanoes, deep canyons, and dust storms that can cover the whole planet. The tallest volcano in the solar system, Olympus Mons, is on Mars. Mars also has two small moons named Phobos and Deimos. 
Scientists are very curious about Mars because it once had water and maybe even life a long, long time ago. Some robots are exploring Mars right now. Whoa! Now we've reached Jupiter, the fifth planet from the Sun and the biggest planet in the whole solar system. It's so big that all the other planets could fit inside it. Jupiter is a gas giant made mostly of hydrogen and helium, the same stuff as the Sun. It has a huge red storm called the Great Red Spot, which is bigger than Earth and has been spinning for hundreds of years. Jupiter has at least 95 moons, including the four biggest ones, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto, called the Galilean moons. Some of its moons might even have oceans under their icy surfaces. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and is famous for its beautiful rings. These rings are made of ice, rock, and dust and are wide but very thin. Like Jupiter, Saturn is a gas giant and it's super light. If you had a bathtub big enough, Saturn could float in it. Saturn has 146 known moons and one of them, Titan, is bigger than the planet Mercury and has lakes made of methane. Next up is Uranus. This icy blue planet is the seventh from the sun and is known for being a little sideways. Unlike all the other planets, Uranus spins on its side like it's rolling through space. That means its seasons last over 20 years. Uranus is also a gas giant and has faint rings and at least 27 moons, all named after characters from plays and poems. Neptune is the eighth and farthest planet from the sun. It's cold, a light greenish blue, and has super strong winds, the fastest in the solar system. It takes Neptune 165 Earth years to go around the sun once. This windy giant has 14 known moons, and the biggest one is Triton, which orbits in the opposite direction of Neptune's spin. Now it's time to meet the five dwarf planets. The first up is Pluto. You might remember Pluto as the ninth planet, but in 2006, it was reclassified as a dwarf planet. But don't worry, it's still cool. Pluto is small, icy, and far away. It has mountains made of ice and a big heart-shaped plain. It also has five moons. The biggest one is Charon, which is almost as big as Pluto itself. Next up is Ceres. Ceres lives in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. It's the only dwarf planet in the inner solar system and is also the smallest one. Ceres has icy water underneath its surface and scientists think it might even have salty water or slushy oceans deep inside. And now Haumea. Haumea is shaped like an egg and spins super fast. It finishes one full spin in just four hours. It's located in the Kuiper Belt and has two moons. Haumea also has a ring around it, just like the big gas giants. Next is Makimaki, one of the brightest objects in the Kuiper Belt and was discovered in 2005. It's very cold and takes over 300 years to go around the sun. Even though it's far away, we've learned a lot about it using powerful telescopes from Earth. And last we have Eris. Eris is almost the same size as Pluto, but even farther away. It's so far that one year on Eris takes over 550 Earth years. 
Eris has a tiny moon named Dysnomia, and its discovery helped scientists decide to create the dwarf planet category. Wow! Space explorers, what a ride! We visited the eight awesome planets and met five fascinating dwarf planets. We zoomed past moons, rings, storms, and space ice. Now you know how cool our solar system really is. If you had fun, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us again for more adventures through space. See you next time!